Hello my friends, today's video is going to be all about CBD skincare. I'm incredibly excited for this video. My CBD skincare journey has been as follows. I discovered Herbivore, then I tried Herbivore's Emerald, which is their CBD oil, and then I just got very into trying more CBD products, finding the best, understanding what CBD was doing for my skin. We are gonna be talking about all of that in today's video. In the event you clicked this video for a review of a product that you saw in the thumbnail, I will have timestamps in the description box below. I'd like to really, really quickly say, if you appreciate the timestamps, please consider hitting the bell. I know I never say this, but please do consider that. YouTube gauges how interested you are in a channel based on how long you watch the videos. They're kind of bad for a channel. I probably shouldn't do them, but it's too important for me to have you able to find what you're interested in in a video rather than take up your time getting you to watch the whole thing. That has been my annual please click the bell message. Let's go ahead and talk about the CBD skincare concept. Now, I I initially thought about doing this video as one of my simplified series, you know, really delving into the science of this ingredient, but I'm gonna be completely honest with you that I don't think we're there yet. I think that this ingredient hasn't been legal long enough for there to be a lot of scientific research at this point. And you know, the way that you form a theory in the sciences is you repeat the same experiment over and over again so that you can hopefully eliminate any confounding variables. You know, you maybe repeated it in different parts of the world with different age ranges and you continually see similar results. That's when you can really draw a theory. But even if you're not there yet, that doesn't mean an ingredient doesn't have a lot of promise. And what I wanna try to do in the beginning of this video is kind of help you figure out if CBD might be something worth considering, even if the science hasn't quite caught up to uh, retinol, vitamin C, other skincare ingredients. So for the purposes of today's video, I'm gonna give you guys a really quick and concise what the heck is CBD anyway explanation. Okay, so CBD, also known as cannabidiol, is one of the phytocannabinoids found in the cannabis plant. The reason these phytocannabinoids are so interesting and relevant to us as humans is that it turns out they actually fit into this system that we have in our body and our skin called the endocannabinoid system. So if you followed along so far, you have a plant, you have chemicals within the plant, and the chemicals within the plant fit into these receptors that you have all throughout your body. And when they fit into those receptors, they basically send these messages to produce these changes in your body. Basically, what I'm saying here is that the hippies were never wrong when they said, hey man, did you know cannabis is our cousin? As long as I'm gonna make that reference, I should probably also tell you there is no possible way to get high from CBD skincare. As long as you are applying it topically, it cannot possibly enter into your bloodstream. But what does it do for your skin? There's three main observations that we've made so far. First off, we've noticed that it seems to help those that are dealing with acne. And it does this in a couple of different ways. First off, it regulates oil production. This is really important if you just got scared as a dry skin person, regulates is not the same as decreases. It just means that if you are overproducing oil, CBD may help you to produce the right amount of oil, as well as being anti-inflammatory, and that is huge when we're talking about acne. That is the redness that you see around a pimple. And then finally, it is antimicrobial altogether, fantastic for acne. Secondly, it may help to fight the signs of aging via being a very potent antioxidant to help you fight free radicals. And then third, it may be excellent for soothing the skin. I'm gonna be honest with you, I think this is a huge aspect of CBD, at least to me, because I've talked many times on this channel about how we have to watch out for plant-based ingredients if you are somebody that has a more sensitive skin type, if you have more allergies. And yet when we're talking about CBD, there is a very low risk of that allergy in addition to the fact that this ranks zero on the comedogenic scale. I just gave you three really appealing pros, but I wanna make sure that I also give you some potential cons of this ingredient. So one of the biggest cons that I'm gonna tell you in terms of using the actual CBD products is that for as low risk of allergy as this ingredient is, it is really difficult 
to find it completely on its own. It's often paired with other potential allergens, which could just undo any of the wonderful things that CBD could do for a sensitive skin type. In addition, like I said at the beginning of this video, there may not yet be enough research for you to use only CBD. I would never recommend that for the record. I would always have a well-rounded skincare routine, but you know, you may not want to just rely on it. And then third, it is possible that the skincare benefits you get from a topical product could actually be better by ingesting CBD. Now, I am a delicate flower who is terrified of trying this. Not that I know anything about this from college mom. So that may be anywhere from an option to better, I just don't know, but I can tell you a lot about CBD products that I've tried, so let's get into that next. So let me share with you guys my general experience with using CBD products as a whole. So again, I started a year ago with herbivores oil, and what I noticed was it seemed to really help to prevent further breakouts because I do have acne prone skin. It prevented them without any other cons. It wasn't drying out my skin in the slightest. It was just helping my skin to be more clear. And I think the biggest part for me is that I wasn't scarring if I did break out. And by the way, I have still had some breakouts. Again, I do have acne prone skin, but I noticed that when I started incorporating this ingredient, what was happening is instead of having the in inflamed acne, I truly saw the anti-inflammatory benefits of CBD and instead I was just getting little whiteheads that would heal up and leave no scar behind. So let me tell you again, as somebody who has dealt with acne for a long time, please give me that any day over the deep cysts with all the redness around them and then the scarring. Ugh. Acne is not fun and it is incredibly, incredibly hard to completely treat, but it is not impossible to manage it. And I feel like that's where I am at this point in my life. Now, I do wanna start by reviewing the brand Kanuka. So this little set right here, I purchased through the Alta website. I was really excited about this brand because what they are doing is not just taking CBD, which we've already talked about, but they're combining it with specifically Manuka honey, which is a very potent antibacterial ingredient and in what is acne but a bacteria. Now I did something in this trial that I didn't plan on doing when I bought this kit, but I saw Wayne Goss's video about using the new Drunk Elephant body products on his face, and I got to thinking about it, and I thought, you know, this is a fragrance-free body cream. Fragrance is the biggest issue that I see in using products on your body. I wonder if this would work, but to check, to check, I compared the ingredients between the body cream that this brand makes and the face cream. Uh, However, looking at the ingredients can be limiting. It doesn't tell you the percentage used. And one thing about the body cream is that it's very thick. So I only used it at night. It really doesn't buff into the skin very well. It doesn't buff into the body skin very well. So it's, it's, it's quite thick. If anything, I would be willing to put money on the face cream having a higher water percentage. But I did do that. Shout out to Wayne Goss and it did go rather well for me. However, I do wanna point out that even though this product is fragrance-free, it is not irritant-free. Okay, the ingredients on the box are different from the ingredients on the bottle. I absolutely hate when this happens. Which one is correct? All right, so one list of ingredients says grapefruit oil and the other says grapefruit extract. Just know there are citrus ingredients and also that it may be a bit too occlusive for some skin types, especially on the face. It is certainly more heavy, but overall I did like it. And you know, the price on the body lotion, I'm just saying it's a fraction of the price of the face cream. Draw your own conclusions there, but just so you know. One more thing about Kanuka's body cream before I move on from this, if you are interested in a CBD rich body cream, uh, this one is pricey for the amount that you get. I believe the full size is only 3.2 ounces, but I'll have that up on the screen. Um, the one that I decided to purchase next is Copari's. There was a sale on the Alta app, so I purchased that. It's about eight ounces of product, so I'll be updating you guys on my channel as far as how that compares. But honestly, the fact that I'm sitting here right now and saying Copari is cheaper than this is pretty surprising since Copari sells, you know, 
just coconut oil for how much? How much? Let's move on to talking about the CBD Healing Skin Balm. I think that this is Kanuka's most popular product. Let's see if the ingredients on the box match up to the container. Nope, nope, they do not. You guys have really got to get this correct. I, I, this is too frustrating as somebody sitting here reviewing this, and this is frustrating for people with allergies, you know, which is correct. About this balm, I actually really do like it, and I do think it is the star product from this brand. However, figuring out how to best use it was a little difficult. I hope you can see that it is a very, very, very thick texture, and that's typically what balms are, but just in case you didn't know, balms are very thick. Now, I don't know, sadly, if the first ingredient is actually beeswax or if it is actually shea butter. However, it does contain coconut oil in both of these ingredients lists, so that is certainly something to know. Again, you know, we said that CBD is very low on the comedogenesis scale, but coconut oil isn't. Now, thankfully, coconut oil on my skin actually does work very well. So the way that I was using this is when I had a bad breakout, especially a cluster of breakouts, what I would do is dip my hand into this, dip my finger into this, and just kind of dab it all over where the breakout was, at night, in the morning there was less irritation, less redness, less pain, you know, acne can be painful. So that really did go well for me. Again, I don't know if it's gonna work out for everybody. Coconut oil seems to cause some people to break out, so definitely avoid this if you are one of those people. I saw in the Alter reviews, a lot of people were using this in a wide variety of ways. I saw people using it for dry skin, dry patches, that would be wonderful. I saw the, it for uh, bug bites. Feel free to look through those reviews yourself if you want some further ideas, but basically I, I do think this is their star product. It's not the highest in CBD of this video by far, actually. The full size contains 50 milligrams of CBD. The sample size contains 15, uh, but overall it's pretty good. I like the addition of the Manuka honey, and one more thing I want to say before I move on from this, you guys pointed out that it is very similar in ingredients to their eye cream. True, the difference that I noticed on the website is that the eye cream lists oil higher, so if you want to kind of pl play around with how to use this as an eye cream, I'm sure you could. As far as the lip balm, I do think it's nice. It's not too overpriced, $9 for this. It does look like a chapstick, which means by default I've lost this roughly 45 times at this point. What is it about chapstick that it just always goes missing? Personally, this was my least favorite from them just because of the, the simple fact that I have a pretty good lip routine that I'm happy with. Don't worry about breaking out on my lips, for example. Uh, but you know, if you do have uh, severe dryness on your lips, if you do have any kind of irritation, this may be something worth considering. Elf's new CBD line. I feel like I kind of said everything that I needed to say already about the Elf 50 milligram CBD eye cream. And what video is that? What's new in skincare? However, I just want to reiterate that I think this is absolutely incredible. They've managed to make a completely fragrance-free eye cream, very, very straight to the point, got some peptides in here, beautiful to use, very lightweight texture. I think it's everything you could need in an eye cream, especially if you're looking for CBD. And I do want to reiterate in this video that the reason you might choose to use CBD in your eye cream would be for those antioxidant ingredients. You know, other antioxidants that you could use could be possibly vitamin C, but that may come at too low of a pH. Again, this is going to be something that's great for sensitive skin, and my goodness, you cannot beat Elf's price. $15 for an eye cream? Mm -mm. What I really like about ELF's 100 milligram CBD facial oil is the content of CBD that you're getting in this. What I dislike is that they added fragrance because that in itself is just a problem for certain skin types. However, you know, this is the amount that you see in some of these 50, 60, $100 CBD oils on the market and ELF managed to do it for $18. So again, if you are not sensitive to fragrance, Ooh, you can save some serious coin. This oil is fairly lightweight. It's in a base of sunflower and sweet almond oil, which are both very hydrating on the skin, but feel rather light in texture. Also contains marula oil, which you've probably heard a lot about from Drunk Elephant. And then that brings us to the category of CBD facial oils. Okay, so, you know, it's funny how you can come full circle in you start liking a category because of one particular product, you try absolutely everything else in the world related to it, and you come back to that product. That is me 
with Herbivore's Emerald Oil. It's such a phenomenal fragrance-free oil that also has other adaptogen ingredients, so it's a very anti-stress oil based in squalane and meadow foam, so it too is a fairly lightweight oil. Uh, the only con, I, I swear, Herbivore has become my favorite of the clean skincare brands, if for no other reason than because they don't use any fragrance. Uh, there is one potential con to know with Herbivore, and that is that some people have, not recently, but a while ago, some people had reported uh, their products going bad rather quickly. So if you're going to buy an Herbivore product, I would say focus on finishing it fairly quickly, fairly quickly. But overall, this one is, it's my favorite. I just think it is so well done. I'm not disappointed in the slightest, and I've tried all these products to tell you the best was the first one I ever tried. If you're adamant on trying the largest amount of CBD that you can possibly buy in your skincare, the St. Jane Serum, which is actually an oil, is worth mentioning, and this one is <laughs> 500 milligrams in a bottle, however, it is also $125. But this particular product does have a lot of essential oil ingredients. So again, you know, you, you could be buying the highest amount of CBD in a product and yet undoing the good that all that CBD could do by including allergens if you have those allergies. Again, if you don't, this could be a truly remarkable product. I also do feel that this is the heaviest of the oils that I've tried. It's a base of, let me make sure I'm correct, sunflower oil, and then yes, shea butter as the second ingredient. So it certainly feels heavier. I've only ever used this at night because during the day it's, it's just too much. And just so you guys know some of the essential oils in here. So let's see, we have sandalwood, frankincense, geranium, myrrh. So one to approach with caution, but again, hey, if you love essential oils, and you want the highest amount of CBD, you might love this. Is that glitter on me? Do you have any idea how hard I tried to look professional? I want to be taken seriously in a video talking about cannabis, but deep down, I am a mad scientist with a passion for glitter. I do want to talk about two more oils that may be worth considering. I no longer have these. I had bought the Sephora CBD Favorites kit, and that was what enabled me to try a whole bunch of CD CBD products. Sad that that one sold out so fast. But anyway, I did get to experience these and I do want to talk about them. So first up we have the Flora and Bast Age Adapting CBD Serum, which I would also call an oil instead of a serum. And both of these products will give you as close as possible to a, a pure CBD skin care experience. So first off, this Flora and Bast. Uh, the first ingredient here is capric caprylic triglycerides. This is the triglycerides of coconut oil. For most people, even if you can't use coconut oil, you can use that ingredient. It just ends up having a very lightweight feel to it. However, some people still cannot. The next two ingredients, cannabis sativa seed oil and then cannabis sativa oil. That's it. That's the whole ingredients list. And the other product is Josie Marin's Skin Dope Argan Oil with 100 milligrams of CBD. This one is argan oil, so if you're at all worried about coconut in any form, argan oil, CBD rich hemp extract, that's it. Those were the first two products that I finished off in that sampler to give you an idea of how much I enjoyed them. However, the reason I ultimately settled on herbivore is that first off, it's less expensive than those. And also I liked the other benefits that I was getting. But that's it, we've come to the end of my CBD video. I hope you guys found this helpful. Please feel free to ask me any questions because again, I do know that I'm not explaining certain things in this video. I'm hoping in the future to do a much more uh, focused on the science video once we're there. But for now, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you all next time.